Hello, my name is Nicholas Santillo, and I'm going to run through the data sets uh, section of our data input unit for DHIS2. This is an overview of the DHIS2 curriculum we've been developing at Logical Outcomes, and it's based on the DHIS2 Academy workshops you can see listed on the left hand side of your screen. In this video, we're going to be looking at data sets. The required readings for this uh, video are chapter 6 from the user manual and chapter 12 from the implementation guide. So data sets, uh, what are they? Uh, specifically uh, and quite simply, they are sets of data elements that are collected at the same frequency by the same org units. So uh, basically they are um, forms which you enter data into. Whenever you enter your data, your data elements will be within a uh, screen that you're going to enter your data to, that is going to be a data set. Uh, data sets can be used to split up data entry processes. So um, many smaller data sets are easier to, to deal with than, than a few big ones just because of uh, loading time, navigation. The data quality is because when you have someone sitting down for half an hour, 45 minutes, just entering information, that's when the data quality can suffer because of uh, human error. So it's much easier to just make smaller chunks of data sets. But uh, this all depends how you're entering the data and uh, it's good to think about um, because of these issues that can arise um, specifically around data quality. Now typically you have one data set per program uh, or a few integrated data sets but uh, this is definitely up to you and, and your design. And uh, you can also set attributes to, cat to capture uh, uh, data entry forms that have to do with an implementing partner. Uh, and that you can read more about within the uh, user guide and the implementation guide. So section forms. These are a common uh, form of data sets and definitely the easiest way to do it when you have a lot of different uh, sections, quite literally, of, of data import. It'll make one large data um, set seem smaller because you'll be splitting it up into these sections. And uh, this is how you can have different uh, groupings of uh, data and different ways to enter at different subtables and layouts. I can also disable uh, fields if you need. If you want to learn more about how to build a section form, definitely go to the uh, required readings in the user manual and the implementation guide. And that has a lot more detail about how to set those up specifically. You can also do custom forms. Once again, uh, this will very quickly get into HTML coding. And uh, if you want to be doing custom forms, go into the implementation guide that has all the information you need. But uh, just to get a sense of the concept of it, it's basically writing uh, a personal web page using HTML. And you can uh, pop in these data elements uh, that you want to add based on um, what you've included into the data set. Now, custom forms are great because you can recreate uh, a form that you're already using uh, so that it looks the same for your user uh, or for whoever is entering that data, uh, although it will be going directly into the system and it exists within the DHIS2 system. So those are the two um, main ways that you can use your uh, data set forms beyond just one long, endless page. So what we're going to have next is just a simple question for data sets, a little questionnaire a quiz, and uh, then I'll show you within the system what that uh, app looks like, the data set app. And uh, that will be uh, uh, everything for the data set video. So here we have the data sets uh, app. We've gone once again into the apps and we've gone into the data sets. Once you've created a data set, you'll be going into data entry to choose that data set. But when you go here, you'll have your data set. You can also have your assignment uh, editor. You can learn more about that in the implementation guide or the uh, user manual. Now, if I click into the data set and I click add new, I'm going to get uh, this screen. It looks very similar to all the other <laughs> data entry screens. So once again, it's, it's knowing what we're doing with it. We have our name and short name. Uh, the expiry days, if it's only going to last a certain amount of time, and if it can be all these. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to go through all of these specific things because those will be outlined in the user manual and the implementation guide. But as you can see, all of these options are here. And then you'll be choosing specifically which data elements you want to add 
for this uh, data set and uh, any indicators if you want as well. And then finally, make sure you save it before you leave. So that's it for now. Data sets was a very small uh, piece, but definitely important to get a grasp of. Uh, make sure that you do the readings to catch up on any um, extra information that I glossed over or didn't go into more detail about. And uh, thank you so much for watching. So that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, until next time, I'm Nicholas Santillo from Logical Outcomes.